Analysis of an aircraft EOS requires that EOS, which can cause damage to surrounding systems, be evaluated. The EOS RAT can perform a damage potential assessment. The damage potential report evaluates the amount of energy within the bundles and how much damage that could potentially cause to the nearby structure. The damage potential includes the circuit protection rating, the insulation and wire gauge information, the source voltage and distance from power source, and provides a quantitative measurement of the damage for each wire as well as the bundle. This information can be used to determine if any additional protection or separation is needed. In order to determine the airplane level effects, the damage potential analysis can be run as part of the bundle section report. In the bundle section report, systems are defined, the failure effects in the bundle section are noted, along with if there's any special designation wires within the bundle section, or in bundle sections adjacent. Additionally, adjacent hardware is noted. Seen here is an example of the bundle section report. The bundle section report notes any installation guideline discrepancies that were found. In this case, this bundle contained power wires from different generators, in violation of OEM design principles. The damage potential analysis is affected by a number of parameters, including the use of arc fault protection, separation, the use of segregation materials, and also the type of wire specification, particularly the insulation type. In the case that a bundle section has a damage potential in excess of what could be accepted, these modifications, an in inclusion of an arc fault circuit breaker or in separation of some of the wires within the bundle, can be performed, and the analysis can be rerun after these changes are made. The EOS RAT allows for modifications to installation criteria to be made and the analyses to be rerun to ensure compliance. The following is an example of how OEM design information can be integrated into the EOS RAT and provide insights into the design process and highlight areas which may violate design principles. In addition to design information, hydraulic routing can also be integrated into the EOS RAT. Seen here, being highlighted in red, is the hydraulic system for this model. Using the design principles provided by the OEM, the EOS RAT located and reported this hydraulic line routed above this wire bundle. This issue would then be brought to the attention of system safety engineers and a corrective action would be taken. In this example, the hydraulic line was moved below the wire bundle. Because EOS RAT contains wire specification information, it is able to perform analyses not possible with other analysis programs. In this case, while other wires in this area are designated for high temperature areas, the wires in this bundle are not. In this case, the EOSRAT reported that this wire bundle was found within 3 inches of a high temperature line. This was evaluated and resolved by moving the bundle beyond the specified distance. As mentioned before, the damage potential report is integrated in with the bundle section report, but can also be run separately and can be filtered by the amount of power available in the bundle section. It can also be filtered by such things as a combination of failure effects within the bundle section or, with, or a particular zone, or if there is a special wire category defined within that bundle section. In order to evaluate the EWIS effects and functional failure, EWIS RAC co-location analyses look into each bundle section based upon system separation, redundancy separation, failure effect separation, and cut set analysis. Co-location analysis can be paired with the failure matrix analyses to look at the probability of single EWIS failure causing a particular failure event. This is an example of a fault co-location report in which two faults are defined and the EWIS is evaluated for a co-location between these two items. In this example, there is an overlap of these two faults in two bundle sections and a single connector. In a case that the faults are not located in the same bundle, but are located close to one another, these bundle sections are identified. In this case, these two faults are found within six inches of each other in these three bundle sections. Lastly, if the two faults are nowhere near each other, the minimum distance between these two faults is reported. In this case, fault 1 and fault 2 are found no closer than 16 inches. 
In this example, we see the co-location analysis abilities of the EWIS RAT. The EWIS RAT has both the ability to automatically route the wires in the harnesses or allow for the importation of the information from the OEM's design. In this example, System A is routed from the load center to the cockpit and back to the engines, with System B being routed from the load center to the cockpit and then to the wings. Because the EWIS RAT integrates in the EWIS system, routing, and safety information, co-locations can be found in and around the wiring harnesses. In this case, the co-location analysis identified that systems A and B are routed immediately next to each other in the indicated bundles. This information is reported as part of the co-location analysis generated by the EWIS RAT and would be provided to the system safety team, allowing for the wiring of these two systems to be segregated or separated. In this case, the routing of system B was rerouted to the green bundle seen here, resolving the co-location issue. The co-location analysis would then be run again and no problems would be detected. The next step in the EWIS failure function analysis is the bundle failure matrix report, which combines the EWIS routing information, which includes information about heat, humidity, vibration, etc., with the system information to provide the probabilities of EWIS component failure. The failure matrix report includes information on the probabilities of failure for a particular wire, the mechanisms for the failure, the cumulative failure rate for each given failure effect, which can be used in the FMES, and if applicable, the combined failure rate of the EWIS level of failures. One of the mechanisms for reducing the failure rate will be the use of mitigation techniques. These include wire routing and separation and segregation. The EWIS RAT allows these changes to be made dynamically and analyses to be rerun once changes are made. One important aspect of the EWIS RAT is the documentation of the safety analysis. The EWIS RAT reports document a thorough analysis of the EWIS with the bundle section report, with damage potential report, co-location analyses for common cause analysis, failure matrix report for SSAs, and FMEA and FMES will ensure that all EWIS components have been considered. This analysis is flexible and can accommodate different analysis structures. To find out more about the capabilities of the EWIS RAT and how Electromech can aid your organization in FAA certification, use the contact information seen here.